Hey folks, Sylvius here. I'm on Dow Dow. Uh, as promised, I'm now going into Yalahar to task some gin. Woo! I've actually never been here. You can see how it's all black on my map. So far, now I did um, I did fight the green ones in Yalahar. Uh, oh, <laughs> guess who forgot to put on the dwarven ring? And we got another one coming here. All right, let's put the ring on. All right. Open up bags. No long... Ooh, blue piece of cloth. They are, um... Surprisingly not worth a whole bunch of money, just for the record. All right. So, yeah, this is my first time here with the blue gins. Um, I did task green ones. This is a little interesting, because the green ones were just one structure. Whereas the blue ones appear to be three structures. The, um... <clears throat> nice, that was a solid 100 damage there. The uh, green ones were also a little bit less like you walk in and are swarmed. Which is kind of where I'm at right now. A little odd. Uh, just on a side note, Dow Dow joined the guild. Woo! <laughs> Footsteps. You can see their little uh, guild logo thing down there. Um, I'm not exactly sure why the leader invited me. But he did. And he's a pretty cool guy. So props to Footsteps. It's apparently like a, um, a relatively large guild, which also surprised me. Because when I first, like, was asked to join, the guild leader was, like, on one of his alts. <clears throat> and was, uh, like, level 37. So I was like, alright, you know, I'm just, like, helping out some random dude's guild or something like that. That's, that's fine. Like, I'm not gonna complain. Um, I mean, heck, that's what Sylvius did when he formed a guild, so... Yeah, and then I, like, joined the guild, and I see that there's, like, a bajillion different people in it, and I've joined, like, a major-sized guild. I was a little surprised. It's cool, though. I'm not complaining or anything. So, yeah, though. I occasionally kind of want to look and see what's going on here. Good. All right. Yeah, I want to make sure, like, if they're talking to me or something like that, I have to respond. So, if it gets long, I'll actually pause the video to respond to them. Whoops, I just drank a potion when I didn't need to. Bam! Oh man, I love front sweep. I just, like, don't know how I played this game without front sweep. Oh man, the buildings are, like, connected? <laughs> this is awesome! I mean, slightly less awesome that he couldn't get to me. Uh, the second one couldn't get to me, and he could just shoot at me. That way I couldn't, like, uh, exhort them both down. But I mean, besides that, this is awesome. This is absolutely awesome. Because, uh, like, sort of the issue with the green gin place was that, um, you'd, like, go up the stairs and just get hammered. They'd immediately be all over you. And that is, uh, not an issue here. Got a nice little library. I'm attacking the wrong one. Bam. So, actually, okay, I mean, I not like I'm... <laughs> Not like I have a ton of experience here yet, but so far, this is kind of solid. I can't complain here. Bam. Bam, bam, bam. Yeah, I really can't complain with this place so far. I'm, like, legitimately happy with how this is going. Can I go through that? Nah, I don't think so. <clears throat> also, I mean, just as, like, a, an added bonus... I like the, uh, like, the feel of this place. <laughs> now, it should be Marids up on this floor. Yeah. There we go. And you, and you. I was kind of hoping I could get both of the uh, Marids with uh, Front Sweep, but not how that worked out. Now, how many of them are actually... Uh, Okay, so it was two Marids plus a dude. And there's another floor going up. This is amazing. All right, hold on a second. Let me pause real quick and see what my guild's saying. One sec. Okay, it's sort of a problem that I can help with, but I don't actually remember any of the, uh, the specific stuff, so I can't actually help him right now, which is unfortunate for him. I like that the uh, the green gin place also had, like, a filthy stable. Gins are all filthy animals, apparently. 
Come on, just die. There we go. Oop, hey, I didn't even realize I had another one here. Ah, uh, come on, before they all start pounding me. There we go. Alright. Yeah, I don't know, I'm really enjoying this place. It looks like each one of these additional towers has an up area. That is a lot of gin. Ugh, and the ones in the other rooms are hitting me. That's annoying. That's very annoying, actually. Who here is alive? Alright. He was alive. But he only dropped a carrot. What a loser. What am I gonna do with a carrot? And a bunch of blueberries. I'll eat the blueberries. Thank you. Did you not drop? Okay. I wasn't clicking on the right one. <clears throat> yeah, the part where they can shoot me from the other area is kind of annoying there. But besides that, everything's good. Can I take these tapestries off? No, but I can take the blue ones off, it looks like. Alright, so we go up here, fight some more Jins. Ugh. There we go. And you're real? Yeah, I mean, two Marids plus two blue Jins kind of at the same time is pretty scary. Just throw that out there. I got seeds and a heavy machete. I don't think the heavy machete is worth anything, but for the heck of it, I'm gonna throw it over there. Woohoo! Alright, looted you. Didn't loot you. Looted you. And. Ugh, nine gold, seriously? On a Marid? You're joking with me, people. You're joking. Uh, get him before he uh, does annoying things. The Marids do have a decent amount of HP, I have to say that. Not that I'm at all happy about that factoid. I'm irritated by that factoid. Alright, potions, up we go. This is uh, a little scary. Alright. <laughs> yeah, that was a little scary. That was a little, little scary. I don't like using health potions, like, obviously, for obvious reasons, um, but kind of don't have a choice sometimes here. Plus, I'm not using a lot of them. What, I've used six healing potions so far? Like I said, it's not great, but, I mean, it's not the end of the world. Oh, good. Spectral scum are still invading. That's fantastic. So, anyway, um, da dup da dup da dup da do. So, there shouldn't be anybody up here. Yeah, no respawn yet. Ah, real quick though. The time is 7.18. So we'll go down, kill everybody that's down there. We're at that sad two hits on that blue gen there. There we go. 84 gold coins. At least he paid me back for it. My inconvenience. Yeah, I don't know. I really, uh, I really enjoy this tower. I think it's kind of a cool layout and everything. Like, three towers kind of connected by walkways. I like it. I like it. Significantly better, in my mind, than the, um, the green gin one, which, again, is just, like, you go up and you're just in a large, like, oval-shaped room and a whole bunch of gin just hit you from every direction. It did make uh, hunting there as a paladin kind of a hassle. All right, and we go back down. We kill their friends. I'm attacking the wrong one again. That crap's annoying. Exori. 63 gold. This time, by the way, I forgot to do a loot pick when I was um, at Asher Tadarami, however that place is pronounced. Um, I will do a loot pick for this one. And also because I didn't... Um, do anything before I came here. Like, I logged on and came here. There should be nothing else in my server log, so I don't have to worry about the fact that I didn't clear my server log. Um, I didn't kill anything on the way to here, which is actually a nice aspect of um, hunting in Yalahar, to be honest. Like, you don't have to walk through a whole bunch of crap to get to your dungeons. I mean, obviously, like, not 100% true. Uh, if you're, like, hunting bog raiders or something like that, you have to go through all the um, mutated humans and 
mutated rats and whatnot on the surface, but besides that kind of thing, for the most part, it's kind of just like, you know, casually walk to where you're going and be good. There we go. That kind of sucked. Oh, boy. I was uh, trying way too hard to kill them with uh, that front sweep and wasn't paying attention to my actual HP. And then didn't even kill them with that front sweep even better. Well, you're dead, sir. And how about you? Two damage! Yeah! There we go. The 300 and some damage for the next attack made that up slightly. Alright, who is looted? Ugh, oh, God. It's cool that, like, I didn't loot all of them so that it was actually, like, relevant that I, you know, like, swung their bodies around. It is, however, annoying that the loot that I didn't pick up was worthless. Was it, like, an 8 pile of gold and a 7 pile of gold? Thanks, guys. Nothing. Do do. Alright, and we're going back up. I think I'll do one more full circuit. Actually, let me go kill that guy that's down there first. I will do one more, like, full circuit out here. Go back up to the top levels and then come back down. Also, I kind of wonder how close I am to the actual, um... You know, completing the task. Because I did pick up the task before I came here. Alright, let's hop back inside of one of these towers. Let's take a look at that real quick. Killing in the name of... One of the nice things about the gym task, it's always at the bottom. I've killed 176 plus 62. That's... God, I used to be so good at math. 178, one, 238. So I'm a little bit short of halfway done. You know, they're going to just, like, turn me into a rat, and I'm going to get off my mount again anyway, but let's keep it on for now. This room with the bookshelves is sort of a pain. Lujin is dead. Lujin is dead. I like to just remind myself that the blue jins are supposed to be, like, the good ones, and I'm actually, like, fighting for the evil forces right now, slaughtering the forces of good. <laughs> Dao Dao's evil. And we go up. Single Marid. Single Marid is a lot better than two of them, plus a whole bunch of uh, blue jins, that's for sure. They paralyze. Sometimes I forget that they paralyze. And they turn me into a rat again. Wow, I'm hitting so incredibly low. It's like a joke. Yeah, seriously, like, people, what is that? It's also kind of annoying how their summons last for a second after they've been killed, and that gives their summons, like, an opportunity to hit me in the face. There we go. That should be everybody. Uh, was he not a summon? He wasn't a summon. Good for him. Oh, I guess they weren't all... Any of them were summons. Or were they summons? Hold on. Browse field. Browse field. Okay. I, I don't know. I don't know. We're just rolling with it at this point. Now this is the tower I came up in. So now we... Whoops, I didn't mean to take a potion. I meant to heal. Kill the Mirid. Now, one of the things I learned here is, um, do not go into that tower first. You've got the, like, I don't know, you want to call it top left, top right, whoops, I didn't mean to go down. Top left, top right, bottom tower. Don't go into the top right tower first, because that puts you within range of the guys in this tower. And more importantly than just putting you in range of the guys in this tower... Uh, it lets these guys in this tower start their summonings. So then when you do go up this tower, you got a whole horde of them on you. And that, folks, is not good. Bam. And that was a ghost? Or, yeah, a ghost. That was a summon, I meant. Yeah, alright. <clears throat> so now we go over yonder. And should have a... Marid, multiple Marids. There we go. That was not exactly a smooth operation. 
You know, one of the, the big uh, weaknesses I have is I don't really know exactly how much mana a lot of my spells cast cost. So, I mean, like, I just, I go to cast it, and if it doesn't work, I just drink another potion. But a lot of times I'm, like, hugely confused as to what's going on when my spell isn't working. Anyway, before I leave, I just want to point out that, um, hey, this guy respawned. That's not what I wanted to point out. <clears throat> this teleporter over here is the teleporter to <clears throat> whatever the, um, the tasking boss is for the blue gins. I don't remember his name. The green one was called <clears throat> Mahikwa or something like the Slaughterer. I think the blue one's called like Fahahma the Wise or something like that. I'm not too sure, personally. But yeah, he's there. I will be doing another video of these guys in the future so that I can go kill him, but not right yet, obviously. And I also have to go take Silvius to the Green Gin Fortress and, um,. Not the green, yeah, the green gen fortress. That's what I meant to say. In uh, in Anchorman, I got to take Sylvia to the green gen fortress in Anchorman and um, explore that area in the basement that I didn't know existed before. Yeah, I was gonna th say um, I didn't get that many creature products this time around. What did I got? Like yeah, three dirty turbans. Um, Not a lot of blue pieces of cloth, although it looks like I've been putting the blue pieces of cloth in the wrong spot, yep. <laughs> ah. I'm full. Yeah, I don't know. Not a lot of blue pieces of cloth, not a lot of uh, belts. Only two sapphires so far, both of them off the same gin. This hasn't really been a profitable run so far. I guess we'll see when I do my loot pick, but so far it's kind of uh, sad. Alright, and down we go. You know, I always go up and down the same one. Next time I want to go down a different one. I will be just spending the next couple of, uh, I guess, like, probably around 30 minutes in here finishing the task. Off recording, though. See, the purpose of this video is to kind of just showcase what hunting here is like. You know what I'm saying? Not to make you watch me doing something that even I find boring. I'm not looking to punish my viewers. I'm trying to be informative. Here's a spot you may not have known existed. Here's what it's like. Here's what the monsters are like, in case you weren't sure if you could handle Jinns, or if you weren't sure they were profitable or good EXP, or anything along those lines. That's the purpose of these videos. So I, I think I do a pretty good job on that, personally. All right, folks, I'm basically done at this point, I think. So um, like, favorite, comment, subscribe. Uh, check me out on Twitter. You can follow me there and kind of get, like, I don't know. I think you get the same effect out of uh, following me on uh, Twitter as you would on just subscribing to me, which is basically just an alert of my videos. Um, likewise, I have a Facebook, but I don't use it. And then I have a Patreon account where I write a whole bunch of additional commentary on everything that I do, and you might find something interesting there, and you might not. But anyway, folks, uh, let me pause real quick and do my loot pick, because I totally forgot about that. My bad. All right, folks, there's my loot pick. I've got... Um, Gold coins, blue pieces of cloth, um, all that jazz. Why did you put up gold coins twice? Hold on a second, let me take a look at that real quick. What's up with that? Eh, this might not be 100% accurate, because I'm not sure why gold coins and platinum pieces both went up uh, at the same time. That seems like it's probably not accurate, which means I probably lost. I don't know, hard to say. I'm not really sure what's going on right now. Um, blue pieces of cloth sell for 200 pop to an NPC. Uh, I'm pretty sure I can sell them for 500 though, so I tacked on this extra amount of uh, gold right here. So I don't know, that was the situation. I didn't get particularly good loot this time though, so I mean, you know, it is what it is. Anyway, people, uh, like, favorite, comment, subscribe, check them out on Patreon, Twitter, and Facebook, and I will see you guys later.